Okay, great. So T Day. Yay. Okay. So current procedural terminology are procedure codes. that providers use, providers mean nurses, physicians, nurse practitioners, physician assistant, all that encompasses this. Okay, provider procedure codes that providers use to explain how they treated the patient. Okay, now. The CPT book was written by the AMA, which is the American Medical Association. Okay. All of this was defined by the RBRBS, which is R B R B S is founded by HICFA, which is Healthcare Financing Administration, which is fathered by CMS. CMS means Centers of Medicaid, Medicaid, Medicare services. Very good. Okay. Now, uh, it kind of works like trickle down economics. How many of y'all, I know a lot of y'all were not born just yet. I was. Uh, President Reagan. Anybody heard of President Reagan? <laughs> heard of him. Okay, I was in the sixth grade when he okay. served. I was in the sixth grade when he got shot. Okay. Uh, assassinated, if you will, but but not killed. You know, just attempted assassination. But anyway, trickle down uh economics. So the R B R the R B R B S. Why is that important? I'm glad you asked. It is important because it gives a formula. How many of y'all like math in here? Okay. Okay. So this gives a formula of how to um, quantify the amount charged. Okay. Remember when I talked to y'all about uh, about a week or so ago, and we talked about the CPT codes, okay? So, remember, uh, we talked about CPT codes 99201, 99202, 99203, 99204, 99204. Remember we talked about that? And so the tail end of those explains the level of care that the physicians did or the providers did about the patient. This is level one. Level two. Level three. Level four. Level five. And each one has a calculated process to explain that this should be, mm, let's say, $75. This should be $100. Now, you're probably saying already, well, Ms. Harper, do we have to do any math calculations uh, to quantify this? No. I'm just explaining. I know. 
I'm just explaining the history, the history, how it came to be. This is going to be 125. This is going to be 150. This is going to be 175. Okay. All these, each code has an RB, RVS calculation to it to say how much we're going to charge for this. Now, how many states do we have in the 50 United States? I'm sorry. I'm that <laughs> really? It's 52. 52. Mm -hmm. 52, including Puerto Rico and the Caribbean. Okay, so doesn't matter what state you go to for care. If you go to see a doctor in Utah, it's going to be, and he uses this code to say that he spent, how do we quantify that even further? Well, we're going to learn about what we call variables or some, uh, some other measures that help us to understand that. So let's suppose he spent 10 minutes here. Let's suppose this is 15 to 20 minutes. Let's suppose this is mm, 20 to 30 minutes. Let's suppose this is 30 30 to 45 minutes, and let's suppose that this is 45 minutes and above, okay? This is how many minutes a, a physician may typically spend with each patient and depend on the CC. CC means what? Chief complaint. Chief complaint tells us what? What's the problem? What's the problem? Why are you here? What brings you in the office? Okay. Now, the doctor can already look at your body system and say, uh, it's this, 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 and he's done in 10 minutes. That's all he's going to charge. If he spends a little longer trying to explain stuff to you, don't worry. He's going to charge you. <laughs> okay. The, long and, huh? the, long the longer the minutes. I need to the be more he charged. <laughs> the longer the minutes, the more he charged. I need to be enough. Yeah, I hear, I hear you. Now, I say this because I don't want you all to get discouraged about seeing a doctor. If you have questions, please be your own best advocate. Ask the questions. Always bring a small tablet with you. I have a small um, tablet about as big as my phone. I always keep it in my purse. Because if something's going on with my body, if, if I notice a certain trend that's going on in my body, I need to write that down and say, Doc, I've been feeling like this. And I've been feeling like this for two weeks. Explain to me. Don't worry about the time. Okay? This is just inside information knowledge for y'all to know. Right. Common lay people don't know that. But now that y'all know that, <laughs> I don't want y'all to be discouraged. Please. Spend as much time as you need. It, it really matters. It's better for you to leave knowing than to you leave and not knowing. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So this is how this all came about. RBRBS was founded by Healthcare uh, Finance and Administration, which is fathered by CMS. Now, let me explain to you why I wrote it like this. Okay? Now. For healthcare financing administration, the reason why this was written because they came up with a beautiful form. Okay, so before twenty two thousand nine, let me say we'll go back and support that. Before two thousand nine, the form was called. HIPAA 1500. After 2009, after 2009, the form was updated to what is that? CMS, CMS what? 1500. CMS 1500. So if I say, Sarah, bring me a CMS 1500, you're going to know I'm meaning the same thing of what? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, yes, yes, they're one. Now, you're probably asking uh, Helene, and, <laughs> uh, Jamisha, and Monica, well, Miss Harper, why is that necessary to learn? It's called language. 
You need to understand the lingo of the office. You need to understand what they're saying so you don't be looking like a deer in headlights. Like now. Yeah. Huh? I say like now because we just started. Actually, so don't worry, you'll get acclimated in. Okay. Um, so you want to understand the language of what they're saying. If they say, Monica, bring me a hit for 1500 form, you're gonna know they're gonna talk about what yeah. the CMS 1500. Now, you're gonna have some old heads in the workplace like me. I just turned 50 earlier this month. Yeah, just turned 50. Gosh. Amen. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Just turned 50. Now, I'm back in the old school. <laughs> Okay, because I've been doing this since 1986, 87. We called it hit for 1500. Okay, we didn't have the fancy dancy typewriters. We handwritten our claims. Mm -hmm. So you can only imagine how my hands were hurting every day. And I was in this, my last two years of high school, I was in HOSA, Health Occupation Students of America. How many of y'all heard of that? Y'all never heard of that? How many of y'all ever heard the last two years of high school you can join like a vocational program? Like yeah. DECA, VECA, yeah. Future Formers of America, things of that nature, right? Okay. Well, I was in a program like that because I knew I wanted to be in medicine since I was 15 years old, but things just kind of got sidetracked, but that's all right. All right. Does everybody understand that? Okay. So that's how I got involved with that. I was very passionate about that. My daddy made sure I, mm, 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 every day. Yes, daddy, I got it. Okay. Now. Here we go. So they created these forms. They needed a uniform. I need to ask Johnny to make me a copy of that. I can do that in a minute. Make uh to to allow y'all to see that. Now so we've gone from paper to electronic, LaRonda, to electronic. And so everything on electronic is done just like that with your copying. All your keystrokes, Tammy, all your keystrokes, Toyin, it matters. OK, we can tell when you off the keyboard, when you're around the cubicle chattering, when you should be producing. OK, we have ways of checking on that. OK, it's a good profession. Don't get me wrong. It's a great profession. And you have to stay focused and you have to stay working. And it has its production. So you have to produce every day. You can't just do one claim today and say that's a wrap. No, it, it has normally depends on the floor of the office. It could be 30 claims a day, 50 claims a day. But you have other responsibilities that are tied to that. OK, so it's not just sitting cute in front of a computer. OK, you have other stuff to do. OK, now let's talk about CMS. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's talk about CMS. CMS handles a lot of things. CMS give the mandates. They give the mandates of policy changes. Of policy changes, okay? And policy changes affects two different types of insurance. What are the two different types? One is? No. No. Commercial. Oh, commercial. Commercial. Very good. Commercial. And the other one is? Governmental. 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 Okay. Now. What is an example of governmental insurance? Medicaid. Hold on. Somebody said TRICARE. Somebody may be thinking Champus. How many military folks we have in here? Military brat. You're a military brat. Yeah, you have Champ VA. Okay, you have Champ VA. Okay, so you're a military spouse or brat? Oh, you are. No, me. That's fine. Your spouse. Okay, so you're a military spouse. Okay, okay. Hats off to all y'all. My brother's a Marine. His wife is Army. So oh, I have high respect. Funny. Yeah. This is really funny how they met. But anyway, military meets military. Okay, commercial. <laughs> Give me an example of a commercial insurance. Blue Cross Blue Shield. Blue Cross Blue Shield. What else? Yeah, no. No, that's Medicaid. Okay. Uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield. What else? Edna. 
Cigna. Okay. United what? Healthcare. United Healthcare. Okay, they do. I, we, we're going to talk about that, uh, which is uh, healthcare re, uh, healthcare reform, but it's called Medicaid replacement or Medicare replacement. That's a whole nother level of conversation. But we can get to that. We can get to that. Okay, United Healthcare. Okay, what about Molina? Anybody heard of Molina? Okay, Molina Healthcare. No. Okay, they be on TV sometimes. Okay. All right. All right. So let me make sure to put this on the tube. Okay. Fantastic. Now, uh, Monica, Jamisha, and Colleen. I said it right. Yeah. Okay, Colleen. We have two different types of insurance. Mm-hmm. Again, language. Mm-hmm. You need to understand what's being said in the office around your cohorts, your coworkers. <laughs> They're going to say, oh, this patient has governmental insurance. You're right. going to know what they're talking about. Right. What are they talking about? Medicaid, Medicaid, Medicaid. 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 Champus, Champa, TRICARE, okay, TRICARE Prime, okay. If they say that this person, uh, Lola, <laughs> I love this song. Uh, if I say this patient has commercial insurance, what do you Monica, think? Monica, Monica, Monica. And the night, Signa, very good, very good. Uh, Shamik, I ain't heard from you all day. What's going on? You exhausted? It's okay. You just, you just listening in. Okay, you got something to say? Okay, very good. Emily, what, what? Give, give an example of commercial insurance. Is that in front of you too? Um, <laughs> Blue Cross Blue Shield. Yes, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Okay, that's fine. Okay, fantastic. Now, uh, did y'all take a picture of this? Because I'm going to erase it. I'll take a picture and I'll put it on the text thread. I'm going to add y'all to the text thread. I'm just not getting to y'all. So um, once I add y'all to the text thread, y'all have a copy of it. Sorry, in chapter, in chapter six, you made the rest of the copy, right? Yeah, there should be the back side only. Uh, because of this one, it goes from 87 to 80. Yeah, the back Yeah, Johnny's making those copies for you. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know how I missed that. Yeah, I have my signature. We can get into that too. Did you three send me a text message? Let me check my phone. Send my phone. Oh, May 23rd. Okay. I thought I missed it. Okay. Jamisha Hill, gotcha. Okay, uh, let Johnny know that. I think Johnny knows that, right? You wrote that on the paper. Yeah, you got them all down. Yeah. And there he is. Thank you. Appreciate you so much. Yes, absolutely. Just like a box of chicken. Thank you so much. Uh, you got our cup. Yes, I do. One for you. One for you. And pass one to Jamisha. So y'all should have front and back. So check it. 85, 86. Okay. So y'all set is correct. 
Yeah. Okay. Now, one, two, three, four, right here. Let me see, babe, what are you talking about? We have everything. I'm yeah. just making sure we have everything. Yeah, yeah you should. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you should have everything. Okay. You should have everything. Make sure the numbers at the bottom are corresponding, like one page on the one side yeah. is this one. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Okay, Sweet Pea, could you pass three of these to the back? One, two, three. Could you pass this to LaRonda? One for you and one for Sarah. Right behind you, LaRonda. And then one for Sarah. That that belongs to Sarah. Yeah, that belongs to Sarah. Okay, so everybody, those that got a second pack, that's your backside. How's that looking, Lola? She's searching. I know, baby. I know. I know. I know. I know. No, 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 no. Just, just, just undo the staple, baby, and slide it in where it needs to go. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Now, can I erase this? I told her, thank you, Jamisha Hill. Oh, yeah. Okay, what is this, Jamisha here? Okay, NTI. How do you say your last name, Helene? Calco. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 Monica, did you text me your information, sweetie? You said to text you the number. Yeah. I didn't get it. No, I didn't. Okay, two seven two three mm -hmm. four seven two. <laughs> No, okay. Seven two three four seven six two two eight one seven two three four seven six two. Thank <laughs> you. 
Gotcha. Okay. 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 Yes, I did. Okay, so y'all should have gotten a text message from me. About two of them, I know. Yeah, I was really good. All right. Let me know if you get the picture text too. Let me know if y'all got the picture text. I know, cause I can't, I didn't have her number to add to it, and so I didn't want to lose it. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. So we got the formalities out of the way. Erase this, okay? And we're going to talk about the breakdown of the procedure code book. So I'm going to erase all of this. Is that cool? Yeah, you sent me to that. Okay, fantastic. Shani, could you give me some more water in this? Thank you, sweet. It never has the definitions on it, sweetie. You have to Google it. We all yeah, I'll go over it with you. I'll go over it with you. Yeah. Okay. Is chapter six in there, though? The answer sheet. You want to make coffee? Yeah. Uh, give about five of those. Yeah, that's the answer sheet. Yeah, that's the answer sheet. 
Five. Is that five? Don't you make it five? That's chapter six. They have the answer sheet today? Yes, it's chapter six. Do they have it? Okay. Okay. Yes, they are. Okay. 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 I'll get Johnny to work on this. I like Johnny. He got a lot to do. No, that's okay. Let her, let her do. That, I appreciate you. <laughs> Y'all have the answer sheets for chapter six, right? No, man. No, I don't. Okay. Since we are walking on the Very good, Monica. Very good. Take pictures. Yeah, that's the answer key. And if there's not enough, I'll pass that to uh, Monica. That's your answer sheet for that. Yeah. But it doesn't. Don't worry about it, babe. We got it. Thank you. I appreciate you. So, those. That's smart, Monica. Very smart. I think they don't have the complete chapter six. Oh, they have the whole complete thing. Because I made sure Johnny made five copies of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you, lovely. Thank you. Okay, fantastic. Now. Let's talk about the parts of the CPT book. Why is that important? Okay, so the parts of the CPT book. Why is that important? Okay, it is important so you will know how to find your code. Okay, it is also important for you to know. <laughs> So you can understand the latest uh, deletions additions and update of code. That's why it is very, very important. So you know that. Okay, now, um, I think I have this book up here already. How many of y'all finished the attendance sheets? Y'all finish our attendance sheets. If you finished it, please pass it up. I'll take that. Okay, thank you, love. Anybody else finish their attendance sheets did over I here? The did you get one? Hmm? Did I put the date for the 29th? Did I put 429? Let me look, sweetie. Give me just a minute. Thank you, darling. Thank you, sweetie. No, you put the 30th, sweetie. Um, you did just fine. Anybody else need to turn in their attendance sheets? Shanika, did you turn in yours, Shanika? Nike, did you turn in yours, baby? Okay. Okay. Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. Fantastic. Okay. Now. Um, looking at this book. Okay, very good. This book is very different from what I'm used to, the AAPC coded books. Now, I'm going to show you a book that we typically use in 
doctor's offices and hospitals and stuff like that. This is the book that we normally use. Nothing bad about that. The one written by AAPC. This is the one that we're that I'm used to. This is the one that you may see in the office more commonly, okay, than the one written by AAPC. If you see the one used by AAPC, it's nothing wrong with that. Please use it. I want y'all to know that. I'm just saying from my teaching standpoint, this is what I've been used to. From my professional standpoint, this is the book that I've been used to. OK, so I'm going to teach out from this book since we have more of it's this book. Year, right? uh, yes, technically, yeah, it is. But these are different authors. Oh, so okay. this is made by AAPC. Mm -hmm. They make the certification test. OK, this is uh, and they foster. They foster how to categorize the procedure codes from American Medical Association. They foster that. They just did it in their own special little way, okay? Which is great, which is great. The American Medical Association, this is how they do it. So you, you have some, and plus uh, it may have an author on here different from that, but if it has American Medical Association, that's the one that's typically used in the office. But since we're not using this one, we're going to use this one. So uh, turn to the first page, which is the cover page. Everybody should turn to the cover page. Mm -hmm. That's the cover page. Yeah. And everybody should see this flap here. Everybody should see this flap. So I'm in the AAPC book. And this is the page here that I'm talking about right here. OK, which is the inner cover of the book. And I like how they did that. Very nice. OK. Yeah, we don't need it just yet. Not yet. OK. And so we have what we call the modifiers. Does anybody see that page? Modifiers. OK, modifiers. So let me explain what are modifiers. You're probably saying, well, Miss Harper, what are modifiers? What, what, what do they do? Anybody know the eight parts of speech? Anybody remember that from grammar school, eight parts of speech? Uh -huh. Noun, yeah. verb, yeah. adverb, yeah. adjective, yeah. preposition. Yeah. What else? Conjunction. Conju okay, well, that's oh, kind of. Conjunction. What's your function? <laughs> okay, you got it, huh? Well, pronoun is, is a derivative of noun. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I'm going there, well, kind of, but the reason why I'm going there is because an adjective helps better describe, okay, what's going on, right? Just like an adverb help better what? describe or add more emphasis on the what on the verb see now y'all probably saying oh all that really matters now because we learned that what first grade come on sarah we learned that first grade through high school huh uh-huh so now all this playing in, in your life for real and grown folk institution huh yeah you thought that was a joke uh-huh yeah well it's real now yeah it's real now it's real okay so modifiers, let's explain what that's all about. Modifiers, modifiers, modifiers help better explain the use of code. What kind of code? Procedure code. Oh, the procedure code. Thank you, LaRonda. The use of the Procedure code. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, let's say, for example, um, well, let, let's talk about the most common one. The most common ones you're going to see 